I love collector's editions. And in this week's show, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new retro gaming collector's edition. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Hammering Harry was an arcade game released in the early 90s and then ported over to the NES in Japan and in Europe. And Retrobit are about to bring back this classic game in a brand new collector's edition. So I thought we could play through the first few levels of the first game and then take a look at what exactly you get in this new collector's edition. So this is my first time ever playing Hammering Harry. In fact, I didn't know about this game until this collector's edition came out. And from what I understand, this is an arcade game that was ported over to the Nintendo Entertainment System and I think number one and number two was ported in Japan and here in Europe, but never made it over to the States. So this is the first time playing it. And if you ever watch live at the arcade, you'll know that probably getting past the first level is going to be a real challenge for my gaming skills. Right, let's get into this then. A little intro. I like it. Leaving our house. Builders, I guess. They're wrecking my home. Right, so I'm off for revenge, I'm guessing, because they've destroyed my uh, destroyed my house. Ooh, we got some uh, voice. That was quick. What have I got? I got attack, jump. Oh, up. I can put my mallet above my head. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I think I got the gist of this. Let's go uh, kill stuff. It feels nice. The attack's really, really responsive. Oh, I got a new move. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Upgrading your weapon as you uh, as you play through the game. And it looks like there's some other slots there, so. Uh, Perhaps we can actually upgrade this weapon a little bit more. Yeah, really responsive attack. Soundtrack's really nice. I like how Japanese it is. Ooh, another power-up. What's that? Hard hat. So maybe I'm defended against these guys. Or it's an extra life. I like... I really like the design, actually. This is really nice. So far, kind of just a uh, side-scrolling, almost beat him up. Oh, here's some platform stuff now. Right, let's go. Oh. Did he come out again? Oh no. <laughs> got some more voice over there, which is really cool. I only just got to the platforming part. Oh, I've lost my spinny hammer. That's annoying. All right. This could be another live at the arcade experience. Run away. Alright, I'll get rid of these guys before taking on these. Can I get him? Oh, I can't use my big hammer, okay. So just wait for him to go. Yeah, okay. Jump over, attack, jump over. Cool, got it. Who's this guy? Is that a nail gun or a machine gun? I sense uh, end of level boss here. This is nice. I really like the uh, the presentation here. Okay, so I got to attack upwards. I think we got him. He's not too hard. 
He says, as I miss everything. There you go. That was nice. Not too much platforming in it. More kind of side-scrolling beat-em-up at the moment. I've had to use the uh, different attacks a little bit. Oh, I've... Bonus stage. Someone's randomly stolen a girl. Let's see if we can save this girl. Do I have to hit her? Oh. Guess not that. Okay, just hit these guys. It's like a whack-a-mole level. Let's see how many... I can't be hit. Oh, time's running out. Oh, this is a bit... <laughs> this is frantic. Oh, that was cool. Saved. Do I get an extra life if I hit a score? All right, parry. The rusty neighbors. I like the presentation. And I love that kind of Japanese soundtrack that they've got. Uh, Japanese-inspired soundtrack. Right, I'm guessing he's controlling the water. He is, right. This looks much more platformy. Ow! Okay, that did nothing. Oh, is that a power-up? Ho, 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 ho! You got a giant mallet. Nothing can stop me now, except for my skills. Oh, there's a box up there. How do I get that? Oh, and a flamethrower guy. <sighs> That's close. Is it just one ladder they go across? Yeah, it looks like it. No! That was close. Another power-up? No, no power-up. Oh, it's more platformy now. I won't go for that power-up box. Right, we've got the normal... Oh, I've lost my big hammer! I'd rather have kept my big hammer. Oh, that's just... I got the rotating hammer. That was kind of cool. I wish you could stack them off so you could have a, a rotating large hammer there. Or mallet. Alright, this guy again. Thank you very much. Can I do anything this side? No. Okay. Oh, actually, let's get these boxes first. Oh, what did he hit me with? Oh, he can't go up there. Okay. Is this guy a ninja? Oh, is he a... No. Is he an end-of-level boss? Oh, I'm dead! Where's he going to start me off? I'm impressed they've got, like, a, a voices in the game. Oh, no! I think this is my last life. Can I just run off? Yeah, run off. No, no! Right. Circular attack. I don't think we're going to get past, and I say we, I mean me, past this next boss. Not without a little bit of uh, practice. Right, I've got time. What does that mean? Extended time? Right, boss man. Come on. Got him. Okay, not a end of level boss. Mid stage boss, mid level boss. 
No weapons there. No! Oh! What? No! Oh well. We got to the uh, second stage boss, which is better than I usually do. Um, let's talk a little bit more about Hammering Harry. I've never played Hammering Harry before, but I gotta say, it was a lot of fun. The visuals are decent for an NES game and the end of level boss stage one was particularly impressive. The attacks are really impactful and feel intuitive and responsive, and the same goes for the platforming elements of the game. There's a suitable amount of challenge in the level design with plenty of foreshadowing. I also like the sound design and the voice samples are amazing to hear on a console with such limited sound tech. The Hammering Harry Concrete Collections Edition from Retrobit includes the Hammering Harry 1 and 2 games, both on custom physical cartridges. The original game also has an oak wood effect and comes with a numbered special edition hardcover box and a coloured manual and an awesome acrylic cartridge display. Hammering Harry 2 also has a physical cart with a concrete effect, numbered special edition hardcover box a coloured manual and a cartridge display just like the first game. Both games slip snugly into the collector's edition slipcase. You can also buy the two games separately with all the special goodies included. Now you should know that these collector's editions won't get a second run and so the only way you'll be able to get these games outside of eBay will be by pre-ordering the game before the 21st of May. After this you'll be at the mercy of eBay prices. Now, if you want to get your hands on this awesome collector's edition, I've put in all the links you need to click on to make sure that you secure your copy before the 21st of May. Now, if you enjoy videos like this, if you love retro gaming, if you love seeing new games for old consoles, then why not consider subscribing? You can do this by clicking on a little button just below this video. We make brand new content every week and so that you never miss it. Also make sure that you hit the little bell just below the video. Now, if you can't wait till next week, don't worry, because we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy. Two of which you can watch over here.